Hi there. I'm Carol Desherly, and uh, I'm going to be doing this month on poetry in art journaling. Uh, but also, what I do is not just with the art journaling. Um, every piece I do seems to instigate a poem in here. So I'm going to be your instigator. I'm taking on the responsibility of helping you realize that you are a born poet. It's right from your mind, body, soul, spirit that poetry comes from. Even the way we move is poetry. I'm a driven person. I've always been a driven person. I was a driven person as a child. So poetry and art are part of my whole being. From the first awareness, I was a poet. When, as soon as I could sit down, they put me on the back of a horse. And that horse used to babysit me, and it would walk around the yard. And when I would fall asleep, it would stop and they would come and get me, it would go over to the, to the door, and they would come and get me. As I got older, I started to wander further and further and further from home, and spent longer, longer hours. Once I was interviewed about my poetry and my writing, and they asked me, where did my cadence, my rhythm, come from? And immediately I knew the answer, from the back of my horse. I want you to know that yes, I am a published author, and yes, I have university and all those extra courses we take behind me. But it's like when you're an artist, you look at that blank page. doesn't matter what theories in university you've taken, what experts have said about writing poetry. It doesn't matter about any of that. What matters is that you open yourself up and let your poetry spill out on the page. Sometimes a poem comes from a painting. Sometimes the poem comes and then the painting comes. I want you to fall in love with poetic expression. Sometimes it's a word and it says it all as soon as you put it on your page. Sometimes it is a phrase. Sometimes it's a whole line. Sometimes it's your truth. And even in that one word, it becomes poetry. I want you to throw away all preconceived notions you have about poetry. My love is a red, red rose. You know, and those things that have to rhyme and have certain meter. Don't worry about that kind of stuff. I want you simply to be your own wordsmith. Make up your own words. Jam words together if you have to. It's poetry. I want you to remember that poetry is your song of your soul. My poetry I call soul songs. My feelings and writing are simply who I want to be, who I am. I want you to have to explore intuitive writing the same way we as artists explore art techniques. And we throw paint on paper and suddenly we see things there. Throw some words down and poetry can be. Because with those words we start making connections. I want you to explore and be engrossed so that there's a poem on your lips from now on. If I die with a poem in my mouth, if I die with half a poem in my mouth, kiss it out and let it have its say. Draw it out as if cross-breathing to give that struck womb wish a way to sigh. Give it a name, hold it up to the sky, let it be blessed. Pass it around, let its relatives hold it. Speak of how it looks like its siblings, its mother. Let old aunties tweak its cheeks and old uncles blow smoke around it. Press it against spines on a shelf so it doesn't feel so all alone or abandoned or about to be taken. And when it dies, wrap my bones in it. I want you to spend that five minutes every day finding poetry in your head, in your heart, in your soul, wherever it is that you find it. You are poetry right to your DNA. You will always have a poem in your mouth. You have phrases, words, lines scribbled on every surface you can find so that you can write it down the moment it strikes. Keep a notebook in your purse because poetry on toilet paper, seriously, I've done it.
Haul a notebook with you everywhere. Put it by your bed. Put it by your couch. Put it in your purse. Poeming is the same as arting. You're given a challenge, and away you go with it, at any level that you are. I'd like to see you write a poem about you as a poet. Do an art journal page, or a piece of art, or find some found art that speaks to who you are now as this emerging poet, where you are allowing the words to come from your very soul. Okay, we'll see you in a bit.